This is Law of Attraction Explored. I'm Tim Grimes. Some of you are probably wondering about my coaching, so I thought I would just take a minute to explain what it is that I offer. What I do with people is get real deep. And what do I mean by we get deep? Well, you know, if you've been listening to this podcast, you know exactly what I mean when I say that. The kind of coaching that I offer is meant to transform your life. And I feel very confident that it will transform your life and that you'll enjoy doing it. And if you don't, to be frank, you don't have to pay me. I like working with people who want to go deep. People who are willing to explore what's going on in the inside and realize that there's nothing wrong with them and that what is going on in the inside is actually good. And dare we say it, what's going on in the inside is actually God. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, you can always email me at info at radicalcounselor.com or you can just go to my website, radicalcounselor.com. And I hope you enjoyed the episode. So this will be a meditative episode today. You can just relax your body. Close your eyes if you like or leave them open. Just breathe naturally, normally. There's absolutely nothing you have to do right now. Don't feel any pressure to even listen to what I'm saying. Just relax. Take everything in naturally. Your thoughts might be roaming all over the place. And that's completely fine. We're not trying to stop those thoughts or anything like that. We're just here. And the thoughts can roam and be all over the place if they want to be. That's no problem whatsoever. And same with our body physically. We're relaxing our body gently to the best of our ability, but there's no pressure to relax it. If our body hurts or is tense for some reason, it's fine. Right now we are just vibing out, as I like to say. We're just here, and it's all good. And you can take in what you want from what I'm saying. Or not take it in. Because really, it's all good regardless. When we just get down to this gentle level. Which, of course, is really not a level at all. You can breathe in. And breathe out at your own pace. Take it all in. No rush whatsoever. This is something that we can do whenever we want because we're just doing it. And there's no pressure. So we can do this every day if we want to. Or we can not do it every day. We don't have to do it at all. The point is it's just available to us if we want to do it. And it's totally totally fine if we don't want to do it. So, in this very vibed out, chill space, I thought we could just discuss briefly something that Joseph Murphy explained so well. As many of you know who have listened to this podcast for a long time, There is such a tendency to get bogged down by all these different law of attraction terms, all these different explanations of techniques, explanations of reality. And none of that stuff really matters right now, does it? I mean, those techniques and explanations can be fascinating. And if we are into exploring them, it's wonderful. But if we don't feel like it, if we just want to relax and be present like we are right now, we don't really need any of that stuff. And the advice that you're about to hear from Joseph Murphy, like so much of the advice in The Power of Your Subconscious Mind, is not vague It's not too esoteric. It's not too theoretical. It's not too 
technique heavy. It's something that seems like almost good old common sense. And the more aware we become of the point Murphy makes, the more easy I think it will be for us to apply it successfully in our lives. So I'm just going to read this short excerpt that Murphy wrote. He said, Remember that there is a universal law of action and reaction. The action is your thought. The reaction is the response from your subconscious mind. The subconscious mind is reactive and reflexive. This is its nature. It rebounds, rewards, and repays. It is the law of correspondence. It responds by corresponding. As you contemplate right action, you will automatically experience a reaction or response in yourself, which represents the guidance or answer of your subconscious mind. In seeking guidance, you simply think quietly about right action, which means that you are using the infinite intelligence resident in the subconscious mind to the point where it begins to use you. From there on, your course of action is directed and controlled by the subjective wisdom within you, which is all-wise and omnipotent. Your decision will be right. There will only be right action because you are under a subjective compulsion to do the right thing. I use the word compulsion because the law of the subconscious is compulsion. Beautiful short passage. And this idea of compulsion, of being compelled to do the right thing by contemplating the right thing, is very useful, especially once we are used to these ideas, which you surely are if you've been listening to this podcast. Murphy gives wonderful explanations of thinking quietly about right action throughout this book and in his teachings in general. The absolute method, for instance, is simply about thinking of God. That's thinking quietly about right action, quite obviously. Thinking of God, one could say, is the solution to any problem. That is the basis of Emmett Fox's golden key, of course. But right action also means thinking quietly about all the virtues and qualities that we wish to possess. Whether it be health, or wealth, or peace, or love, etc. All these wonderful things. Simply think quietly on them and you're using the infinite intelligence resident in your imagination or your subconscious mind. Remember, again, Kuei said the term subconscious and the term imagination were essentially synonymous. So when you think quietly about these high ideals, you're using the infinite intelligence of your imagination to the point where it begins to use you. Compulsion takes over. Your course of action is directed and controlled by the subjective wisdom within you. And it will be right. You're under right action because you're under a subjective compulsion through your imagination. Murphy says, I use the word compulsion because the law of the subconscious is compulsion. You could also say, Compulsion is the nature of imagination. What you think on fully, what you readily accept, you are then compelled to keep thinking. Recognizing that is very helpful. Your action is your thought. 
and how you react to your thought is imaginatively how you move through your life. So in this relaxed space where we're not doing anything particular, let us think on this idea of compulsion. And let us realize by sinking into the relaxation which we now feel, we are compelled to feel it in our lives more and more. And let us feel the peace that is here right now. Over and over.